it's New Year's Eve and I'm lucky enough to be able to head away um, over the January period up to an area called Langs Beach, beautiful spot, and uh, has much darker skies in here. It's probably in the winter, more a bottle three, but around this time, a lot of people on holiday there, a lot of lights on, so it's probably closer to bottle four, but uh, that's all right. I'm going to take the Sky Watcher, which is in this rather large case here, because I've kept the imaging train all attached. It's all really nicely um, secure and uh, lots of sponge all around it, so it can uh, take the drive up there. And uh, yeah, I hope to be doing some astrophotography uh, up at Langs Beach. So just got to pack up the car and get moving. Well, I've made it up here to Langs Beach, uh, which you can see behind me. Uh, there's some quite big rollers coming in because there is a cyclone up north, which will probably make tonight the last night I can do some astrophotography. I've been doing some imaging over the last few nights, uh, and the ideal, uh, well, the nice thing about this area is that it's a lot darker skies compared to home. I'd say this is more bottle sort of three, four. And the other nice thing is behind me is north, and I don't get much of a view north at home so uh, this also gives me an opportunity to have a go at some of those targets that are a bit low in the horizon perhaps more of a northern hemisphere target than a southern hemisphere so I thought I might have a go maybe at the monkey head nebula um, I think it gets to around about 30 degrees maybe a little bit less uh, and what I have been doing over the last few nights because we had no moon I mean it's now over 50 percent moon but when it was darker with no moon, I uh, imaged M78. So that's the advantage, again, being in these darker skies at looking some of those uh, more dark nebulae. So we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, the wind has dropped a bit, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna try and tuck myself around here on the deck and um, polar align when it gets darker. So we'll see how we go. subs uh, into imaging the monkey head nebula uh, I've got the I'm just doing the HA filter at the moment and I'm also running uh, in Pixon site I'm using the easy um, live stack here just to see how things are progressing so 
that's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now I had a bit of an issue here, as you can see, the HFR of the stars started off good um, and then went terrible for four frames. I tried doing the autofocus like five times and it wouldn't work. It would land um, out of focus and then suddenly it's, it worked. So I'm not really sure what's happening there because other nights when I've used these settings it's worked perfectly fine. So this is something for me to um, look into. The guiding has settled down. I think it's about 0.7. Oh, it's gone back up to 0.8, I think. 0.83, but it's been... It was over 1 when I first started. There's a bit of wind that settled down, so the guiding has improved. Uh, so uh, Meridian Flip. Uh, I don't seem to have the Meridian Flip coordinated with the mount and um, with Nina, so uh, I'm finding that the mount is flipping when it feels like it, um, which means that sometimes it's in the middle of a frame and I end up with uh, a kind of a weird double image and it may do that again tonight. Um, so I've got to get that coordination working. But um, I'm just going to carry on um, imaging once that Meridian Flip is finished. I'm going to head off to bed and get some sleep because it's supposed to stay clear all night. Fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to how this, this comes out because it's, it's not very high. I think it gets to about 30 degrees um, in this, in the, uh, above the horizon. So it's a low target for us in the Southern Hemisphere. But since I've got a really good... Uh, view out to north. I thought it was worth having a go at some of those more typical northern targets that just peak above the horizon um, in the south. Okay so it's made a liar of me and uh, it's all coordinating tonight so I can hear the mount flipping uh, right at this moment so uh, Nina is in charge which is good. Thank you. 